Pennington County Jail is beginning to see a decrease in its inmate population. This is part of the MacArthur Foundation's Safety and Justice Challenge, which uses specific strategies to keep jails from becoming overused. Kelly and Sydney Thorson explains how it works. For four years, the Pennington County Jail has been working hard to lower inmate numbers by applying for grants from the MacArthur Foundation. So far, they've given you know, Rep City Pennington County close to $3 million of support. That's in uh, te technical assistance and cash to help with their different initiatives. So we started out with four uh, initiatives with like 14 subcategories underneath those, and we began implementing those over the last year and a half. Between tribal outreach, case processing, community supervision, and pre-trial alternatives, the jail is keeping numbers down. The CARE campus added nearly a year ago offers an alternative to jail for low-level offenders. We don't want to compromise public safety ever, so the goal is to look at particularly our low-level offenders. Is there better alternatives rather than putting them in jail? And is there a more efficient way, better use of taxpayer dollars to um, implement the strategies that we're talking about. The opening of the CARE campus in September has kept roughly 800 people out of jail. The early trend is a 5% reduction in jail population since September. In spite of the spike in arrests with the methamphetamine epidemic, we still have been able to hold our jail numbers and start to level off and a slight decrease in some of the lower level offenders. The second floor of the CARE campus opening this fall has 64 addiction treatment beds with hopes of helping more people and bringing down the jail population even more. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. The public service assessment is another alternative. It determines the risk threat a person is to the community. To read about each of the strategies, head to this story at kelloland.com.